Welcome to ViewTheRace.com. This is the Manchester City Marathon from Manchester, New Hampshire. The race starts right on Elm Street near Veterans Park in downtown Manchester. This is a very challenging marathon course. The first few miles of this course are flat or slightly downhill and you need to just settle into a nice stride for the first few miles. Don't push it early because there are a lot of tough hills on this course. As you take the right on Commercial Street, you're going to have a nice flat section for the next half a mile or so. As you run between the mill buildings in Manchester. The key to this race is to go out nice and steady and do not push it in the early miles. Because of all the challenging hills, you really need to save your strength right up until the end of the race. The beginning miles will be fast. As you cross through mile two, the road's going to start to slightly tilt upwards. And this is the first really short but tough hill on the course. A lot of rough road through this section as well. Want to look out for that. Although this course has a lot of tough hills, there are a lot of interesting parts of this marathon course, which make it a very unique race. There's a couple of off-road sections, and there's also a pedestrian bridge that crosses the Merrimack River that we get to run over as well. Very interesting course. Road continues to go up. This is a very tough section of the course. Really just need to settle into a steady pace and just grind your way up this hill. Now as we cross through mile five, we're gonna be taking a left onto Campbell Street and once you get onto Campbell, now you're going to have a nice downhill. So finally you get to pay back the course just a little bit. Your pace will pick up and you'll have a chance to recover. Now as you take this right on Juniper Street, you're going to go into another quick downhill and then you can go straight into Livingston Park. Now the next half mile of this course is going to be on hard packed dirt that runs right through the park. Very unique part, part of the course. Now the ground is, it's hard packed, but there's slight rolling hills as we go through the park. It's not completely flat. But you are completely surrounded by trees and on your left hand side is Doors Pond. So there's a nice little pond on your left hand side as you run through the park. This is a very cool section of the course. Now as you come up and over this small rise, you're going to have a nice downhill right over this small little bridge that goes over the pond. And then you're going to exit the park, run through the parking lot, and then get back out on the roads. As you go straight onto Red Coat Lane, the road's going to tilt upwards. And then you're going to take a left onto Tory Road, and the road continues to go up. You're going to run through, the na through a neighborhood for the next mile or so, and it's a very tough section of the course. A lot of hard ups and very quick downhills. Big rolling hills through this section of the course.
Again, I can't stress enough that it is very important to just maintain a nice steady cadence through this section of the course. You don't want to go too fast at the beginning. The rolling hills will add up on your legs and you will burn out if you go out too fast. Now as you take the left on Reservoir Ave, you have another tough, slow uphill. Just got to grind your way up this hill. Another tough, short uphill. And as you come up over this rise, you can take a right, right on Mammoth Road. Now at these lights, you're going to go straight through the lights, and then you're going to take a left through a cutout in the median, or right after this median, and you're going to have a nice downhill right onto Merritt Nyberg Lane. Stay to the right, as you're going to be taking a right on Bridge Street. Now you're going to be on Bridge Street for a good stretch, and this is just slightly rolling, no major hills on this road. This section of the course should give you a little chance to recover. As you take your right on Mission Ave, we're going to go through a little neighborhood section of the course. A couple of quick turns in the neighborhood. Short little downhill and then we're going to take a right onto Hanover Street. Now we're going to follow Hanover Street all the way to Elm Street. So it's about two and a half miles straight away on Hanover Street. Now there's a couple of really tough rolling hills on Hanover. And then there's a nice long steady downhill right before we get to Elm Street. So again just continue to settle into your pace and be prepared for some rolling hills. But well, there's no turns through this section, so that should help. Now, looming in the distance is a pretty tough uphill. Again, you're just going to have to pull yourself up this tough uphill as we cross through mile 12. Now as you come up and over the top of the hill, now you're going to have a nice downhill. Long downhill all the way to Elm Street. After the hill flattens out, it just nice fast part of the course right through here. going to continue straight. A little bit of rough road on some of the sections of Hanover as we head towards Elm, but not too bad. Now as you get towards Elm Street, you're going to stay on the right hand side and then you're going to take a right onto Elm Street. If we would have taken a left there, we would have headed towards the finish line. But we're going to take a right, and now we're going to head out and take a left over the Bridge Street Bridge. Nice long flat bridge to run over. And again, keep, keep your pace in check because the second half of the course is similar to the first where there are a lot of rolling hills. Now as we take this left onto Bremer Street, there's a very tough but short uphill right here. Tough uphill. This one's going to hurt a little bit as we pass through mile 14. Now the next section of the course is going to run through a residential section of Manchester. And for the most part just rolling hills, nothing 
no major climbs. That hill on Bremer is the toughest hill for a little bit. This is a nice residential section of the course with some nice homes and some nice neighborhoods to run through. And you can notice you're higher up. You really climb to get up here, so you're well above the river at this point. As we continue running through the neighborhood, This part of the course is pretty nice. It's pretty flat. Just some very small rolling hills and some small rolling downhills. But it's a nice section of the course. Now as you take this right on Kelly Street, this is another flat section of the course. Should be able to maintain a nice steady cadence through this section. And then the road's actually going to tilt slightly downhill as we go through mile 16 and then head over the Nazair Byron Bridge. Nice bridge to run over. Now with these lights, you're going to stay to the right and you're going to take a very hard right back into another neighborhood. Some rough patches of road through this area. Again, not too bad. The road's just little rolling hills to mostly flat through this section of the, of the course. Give your legs a little break. A lot of turns through this section of the course. Now, some people don't mind having this many turns on a course, and other people really dislike this many turns on a course, but there are some nice neighborhood sections that we run through on through to just a lot of turns. Okay, now you back out on the main road, and again, the road is still flat at this point. Nice break from the hills for the last couple of miles. Now this is a more wooded section of the course. And we're gonna take a left and now we're gonna head towards the college. Tough little uphill here. Then you have a nice little downhill crossing through mile 19. Now we're actually gonna run right through St. Anselm College. Nice downhill, and we're going to take a right, and we're running right through the college at this point. Now mile 20 is in the college. Crossing through mile 20, you're actually going to continue alongside the athletic fields and you're going to continue straight on this road, which was closed. It'll be open for the marathon. And you'll run on this dirt road and just connect to the road on the other side of the athletic fields. And the road continues flat. You're going to feel a little secluded at this part of the course. There's a lot of woods on both sides and but the road is still flat.
Now as you take this left on Coburn Street, we're going to have another section of the course with a lot of turns. As we work our way through this neighborhood. And there's a few tough but short rolling hills through this neighborhood. Short, steep downhill. Then you can take a right on Milford Street. And you're going to go through another neighborhood as we continue to cut through and head towards the river. Now we're going to have a little bit of a weird turnaround and then we're going to take a left right on this bike path that crosses over the highway and also the Merrimack River. This is a really cool part of the course. You're running on a pedestrian walkway that goes over the Merrimack River. Okay, you're just going to work your way around this walkway. You're on Riverwalk Way. And soon on your right hand side is going to be Fisher Cat Stadium, which is the double AF baseball affiliate of the Toronto Blue Jays. So you're just going to work your way behind the park. And then kind of go through the parking lot and head back out onto the main road. Pretty cool part of the course. Now as you cross through mile 25, you're going to take a right onto Granite Street and then take an immediate right onto Canal Street. Now there's a tough uphill as we work around this tight left-hand corner. Tough little uphill, especially at mile 25. This, this hill is going to hurt. Now you can continue straight onto Auburn Street and the road continues to go up. This is going to be a tough section of the course just for where it falls at the end of the race. Now the road flattens out on Pine Street and we're just going to continue straight through a number of set of lights and then you're going to take a left onto Hanover as we head back towards Elm Street. And as soon as you get on Elm you're going to take a left and you're going to head towards the finish line right near Veterans Park. Thank you for viewing the race at viewtherace.com.